In the call of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 5, Isaiah says, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips, yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Okay, I want to tell you something. The Lord Jesus allowed sinners and the unclean to touch him. Jesus is not repulsed by our weakness and our brokenness and even our sinfulness. He is drawn to those who are sick. Jesus said, uh, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Jesus ate and drank with tax collectors, sinners, and prostitutes. Now, having said this, it is important for us to recognize the infinite holiness and perfection of of God, the perfect purity of God. And part of this should be uh, a desire to never offend the Lord in any way. Yes, we're a work in progress. The Lord is patient with us, but we should always be striving for perfection. And, um, and any sin, even the slightest sin, should grieve us. And not that God gets kind of angry or mad in a human way that's that's god there's no sin in god there's no evil in god god is is love um but we should have that sense of the holiness the perfection the beauty and the purity of god and and not want to offend him in any way and the image i like to use is pretend my hands were soiled and I'm fishing with my fishing buddy. I pat him on the back and I say, hey, you're a good guy. Well, that's not a big deal because his fishing shirt is probably soiled as well. No big deal. Now, if I'm with a friend at work and he's wearing a clean shirt and my hands are soiled and I pat him on the back and I say, good job. Well, that's a little more serious because the guy's wearing a clean shirt. My hands are soiled. Now, if on my friend's wedding day, she's wearing her beautiful white dress that's just dazzling white and I pat her on the back with my soiled hands and say hey congratulations that's serious y you don't do that you know and it's the same thing with the infinite perfection holiness purity beauty of our God any sin should grieve us because we're offending the all-holy God that doesn't mean that we should wallow in, in self-hatred and, and, and you know, um, exaggerated uh, grief, we should trust in the mercy of God. The Lord who allowed himself to be touched by the unclean, who's drawn to sinners, uh, but never losing sight of how desperately we should long for perfection so that we don't offend uh, such a perfect, beautiful, and holy God.